you've seen it driving down 275 or 41 and wondered to yourself, what is that white tower that dominates the skyline over Sulphur Springs? Well, I can tell you what it's not. It's not a lighthouse or the stack of an old factory. What it is, is the relic of a dream. That dreamer's name was Josiah Richardson. It was the Roaring Twenties. The area around the Hillsboro River was a mecca for tourists and locals alike who soaked up the sun and then soaked in the cool waters of Sulphur Springs. Josiah developed this area into a kind of theme park, starting with a pool and a water slide. And then the arcade was built, which the whole top floor was, was apartments and motel, hotel rooms, and the bottom was all uh, shops. To make the dream a reality, local historian Linda Hope says, Josiah needed a reliable source of water, so he built this. A 214-foot tall, 10-inch thick, steel-reinforced concrete water tower. The fact that it doesn't look like a water tower is exactly the point. So if he was going to have to build something, he was going to make it nice and have make it unusual. And he put the windows, why put windows in a tower, a water tower? But he, he just had a flare and uh, that's the way he did things. There were plans to install an elevator to allow the public access to the spectacular view, but that never happened and Josiah's dream didn't last long. A flood in 33 wiped out the arcade and his fortunes, but the tower remains. The city of Tampa has some aggressive restoration plans for not only this property, but the tower itself. And that began actually last year with the installation of these lights, which bring the tower back to life at night. The tower will be an attraction again, drawing people to a park on these 13 acres with picnic tables, a restored shoreline, gardens, and open fields. Uh, we're gonna connect this park and Sulphur Springs Park underneath the interstate with a trail that will eventually go to Lowry Park. Uh, if you get a chance to save it, obviously it's important for the identity of the city and the neighborhood to do so. Yes, Josiah's dream may come full circle. His water tower standing watch again over new generations of visitors. Yeah, yeah, where the people can be here again. As you just saw, we were granted exclusive access inside the water tower. It is not open to the public. But the Tampa Parks and Recreation Department says that is one of their long-term goals as they work to revitalize this relic of Josiah Richardson's dream. In Sulphur Springs, Dan Schaefer, ABC Action News.